So now I'm ready. The next step is to open up this SAP system in the virtual machine. Okay, the easiest way how to do that for the first time is that you go inside of your folder that is already extracted and look for the file that contains light blue cube like this one. Let's double click on this file. After double clicking on, on the file, such window with virtual box should appear and you should see in the left side SAP NetWeaver ABAP Academy system. All right, so before we start this virtual machine, let's firstly do some checkups. So we go to settings and just make sure that the type of the system is Linux, open source 64 bit. It must be 64 bit. In case you don't see this option, there is probably something on your Windows, not probably, there is something on your Windows that is not allowing you to run 64 bit software. So we will provide some troubleshooting somewhere down below the video or just check it out. It should be somewhere. This is important. Linux open source 64 bit. Then go to system. Right here, you should see around six gigabytes of RAM allocated for this SAP system. If your laptop or Windows contains 16 gigabytes of RAM, keep this setting. If you have less gigabytes uh, of RAM or your PC is already running low on memory, you can move this down to 5000 or down below to, to 4000 megabytes, which is four gigabytes, but don't make it any lower just because your SAP system will be super slow. So six gigabytes, it's, it's our recommendation. Five is okay as well. Four is really minimum. And the last thing that you want to check out is going to network, advanced, port forwarding, and just make sure that all these settings are also relevant and you can see them on your, on your PC, okay? These are important IP addresses so that this SAP system from virtual machine can connect to SAP GUI. If everything is okay, just hit cancel. We don't want to change anything and cancel here as well. So if everything is okay and you see it the same way as you are seeing it in this tutorial, you are ready to start the virtual machine.